Tuesday, a federal judge denied a request for bond from Julian Cater and George Tanios, who faced nine felony counts for assaulting Capitol Police January 6th. Tanios, accused of buying chemical spray and bringing it to the U.S. Capitol. His buddy Cater, the one who allegedly grabbed it out of Tanios' backpack and sprayed it into the eyes of police officers twice, first hitting U.S. Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick, then allegedly returning 74 seconds later to spray it into the eyes of another female police officer. The fact that Cater allegedly advanced on officers and sprayed them two separate times factored heavily into the judge's decision to deny the men pretrial release, despite the fact the judge said Cater and Tanios were previously law-abiding citizens with no violent criminal histories. The judge also didn't buy arguments from Tanios' attorney. He simply brought the legal chemical spray to D.C. for use in self-defense, calling the suggestion a red herring. Quote, you can bring a pocket knife to D.C., which is legal, but at the point you use it on police, it is illegal.